Hello, my name is Logan Phillips. I'm an estate planning attorney with a focus of planning and helping families with special needs. Here are five things you need to know about trusts. The reason that people plan with trust is to ensure preservation of benefits like Medicaid and SSI and to ensure quality of life for the individual with disabilities. Individuals who intend to leave assets for the care of a person with disabilities should use a trust rather than leaving those assets outright or through a will. The trust will ensure that benefits from the government are preserved. In the disability community, people talk about special needs trusts. There are actually many different kinds of special needs trusts. A special needs trust under Ohio Revised Code is a specific type of trust. It has a payback provision in it. Most families that I work with prefer not to use that type of trust and instead use a discretionary trust. One way to think of a trust is like a treasure chest. My clients have been using their assets while they're alive to enhance the quality of life of their loved one. When they're gone, they want the same thing. So think of putting those assets into a treasure chest called a trust that is used to maintain the quality of life for the beneficiary. Most people with a child with special needs leave longer instructions for the care of that child when they go out to dinner than they have for when they are, have passed away. I work with my clients to leave detailed roadmaps and memorandums of intent that detail the care necessary and those things that enhance the quality of life for their child so that the trustee, the controller of that treasure chest, knows how to use that money best when the parents are no longer here. When clients come into my office, they will say they need a special needs trust. In fact, most of them want a third party discretionary trust because that better fits their needs. A third party discretionary trust offers most people what they are looking for, which is the ability to leave assets for the quality of life for their loved one and have those assets go to their other loved ones when the beneficiary with special needs passes away.